What is going on guys, Greg Ols TV. This is the TCL 10 Pro. Previously, I've shown you the TCL 10L, which is their budget budget phone. This is their, what you I guess you'd call it their high-end budget phone because it's only $450 and it's beautiful. It's got this metal backing, uh, aluminum backing. It's awesome, it's gray, gunmetal gray. It looks great. It's got the four cameras up top, two flashes. It's got a headphone jack at the top as well. So if you want to listen to uh, old school audio, you're able to. You also have the ability to plug in USB-C. You have a speaker. You have a SIM slot that also allows you to add SD card so you can add additional storage. You have a smart button on the left that allows you to customize and do different things. For instance, I have it set up so if I press it once, my flashlight turns on. If I press it twice, it takes a screenshot, and if I press and hold it, got it, let me just get out of the hair a couple times, and when I press and hold it, it goes into multi-window, so I can run two windows really easily at once. And then on the right-hand side, you have your volume up and down, as well as your power button. Now, before we jump more into the phone, let's check out what comes inside of this box. So inside the box, you can see we're gonna get a charging cable here, USB-C to USB-A. And then on the other side, we get the fast charging brick. Now this is USB uh, 3.0 fast charging. So that's pretty good, 3.0 fast charging for this. And then in here you get the SIM card ejector and it should also be, should be a case in here I would assume, yep. So they do give you a case with this one too, like they did with the 10L. Little bendy floppy case, but it, that's great because it might be difficult to find cases for this phone. Terms and conditions, quick start guide. So let's go over some of the specs about this phone. It does come with a 4,500 milliamp battery inside of this phone. The display is 6.47 inches. It is a AMOLED display, full HD plus resolution of 2340 by 1080. It does come with a fingerprint sensor underneath the display. So you can unlock it right there. It also comes with face unlock, and that's why, you, sorry, <laughs> it does it real, real quick. Uh, face unlock is awesome on this, works very, very fast. Um, like I said, you do get that headphone jack at the top as well. Then beyond that, RAM storage, 128 gigs of storage with six gigabytes of RAM inside micro SD card up to 256 gigabytes of storage. The processor inside here is a Snapdragon 675 with a Qualcomm Kirin, uh, Kiro 460 for if you're a big gamer, and this is an octa-core processor. Cameras on the back, 64 megapixel high resolution, 16 megapixel super wide, five megapixel macro, and two megapixel super low light camera, dual LED flash, autofocus on this stuff, 10X hybrid digital zoom, HDR photos, the back cameras are record up to 4K 30 frames per second, and the front cameras, uh, front camera can do uh, 1080p 30 frames per second. So TCL does an amazing job with the software on this phone. It is basically plain vanilla Android on steroids. It, it's awesome. So the only two apps that I personally installed were Twitter and Instagram. Everything else comes pre-installed, and that includes Facebook. So I'll just run through. So any apps you see are coming pre-installed, which they don't really give you any bloatware. I love that. There's no, the only bloatware you really find on here is Netflix. And basically everyone and their mom has Netflix. Facebook, again, almost everybody and their mom has Facebook. I know some of the younger people don't have it, but not a big deal. If you want to get, you know, hide it or wherever, you just go in here and you can uninstall it. So it's not the end of the world. Um, other than that, like it's just some couple of TCL apps, the Google apps, and that's pretty much it. Very, very lean at that point. Inside of the launcher, when you're in your app drawer, you can actually set this by a multitude of things. By default, it's set up by category, so it'll categorize everything for you. You can still go in here. I kind of like it. You can do it by installation, by usage, by label. I like it by name, A through Z. So that's really, really cool. When you swipe down, this is what your quick toggles look like. So you, you know, basically you can turn this dark if you want. It does come with dark mode right there. You can say I have it set to dark mode, but you do have a screen recorder feature so you can record your screen hotspot. 
You also have the ability to do eye comfort that's going to turn your screen yellowish. So, you know, if you're in a dark uh, mode or it's late at night, you don't want the blue lighting to, to bother you. It has that. It has Bluetooth, obviously. You can cast. has a screenshot button. Next, let's go into settings because inside of settings, there is tons of stuff in here. First, let's check out display. So in display, you can do, you can turn on full screen apps if you need to. You can go into brightness level. I only have it set to 58 and I will say, I'm not sure. Let me see if I can get the nits on here because the display, I'm actually pleasantly um, happy with. I don't know how many nits this is. If I find out, I'll put it on the screen, but it's, it does get fairly bright. It's definitely brighter than the 10L. I've been happy with the look of the display. You get dark mode, like I said, to make the screen black, adaptive brightness, which I've turned off, auto rotate, change the font size, always on display. They do have a notification light, display notifications with a light effect. So they have that part in here. You see right there, it has always on display. This is a $450 phone, guys, and it has always on display. How awesome is that? Next, let's take a step back, go into next NXT Vision. Just basically enhances the look and the quality of the display on here. You can automatically adjust contrast and sharpness, SDR to HDR, turn on reading mode, screen color, you can change that to vivid, to, and just different things on here. So it's all built into the operating system. Home screen and wallpapers, you can come in here and choose your launcher, wallpapers, themes, which they don't have a ton, but they have some, they have like this freestyle one or round style. Why don't we, I'll just leave it the way it is. Lock screen preferences, you can change in here and choose the way that um, they have it, or if you want it to look more like Google's. Lock screen notifications, you can show all notifications. You can put a little message if you lost your phone, like, hey, this is Greg's phone, call me at this number, blah, 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 blah. Advanced features, go to system navigation. You can change these buttons. You can switch the buttons if you want. Um, you can go into gesture notification. So if you want to, you know, swipe up and go home, they have that. So I, I'm not huge into the gesture notification. I like it on iPhone. I don't love it on Android. It's still not, I don't know, just something about it. It seems a little wonk wonky. It's not, it's not perfect, but it does have, I should go back in there and change that actually go back to the buttons. But where, like I said, you can change those buttons around, put the back button on the left app cloner. So if you want to run, I'll show you right here. App Clone will duplicate one app on your home screen and you can enjoy both of them respectively at the same time. So you're gonna run like two Facebook apps, two, two Instagram apps, something like that. Edge Bar, this is something that you would remember from uh, Samsung phones. Swipe over from the side here and you have quick access to different apps. Um, you can swipe over and add contacts if you want. There's a ruler built in through this and you can customize all of this stuff. You can edit the tabs you can see. You can move these around if you want. If I want the ruler to be first, I can do that. You can also change the position of the tab, if the, the, the bar over there if you want. So that's, I mean, the customization and stuff they put in this is amazingly awesome. Screen recorder, like I said, you can record up to 1080p of the screen. You can choose if you want to record the, the mute the mic or you record the mic, record your touch interactions. Gestures, you can come in here and you can flip to mute. You can, mute, you can do a three finger screenshot. Split screen gesture, you can swipe up with three fingers on the screen to activate split screen. Quick launch your camera by double pressing the power button. And you can tap to wake, tap to wake the screen up. Next, we have one handed mode. So if you wanna make your phone feel a little bit smaller so you can access it a little bit easier, you can change it. Basically turn it into a 3.5 inch display or four point inch or 4.5 or customize it. They have a gaming mode, so if you're a big gamer, you can come in here and turn certain things on like blocking your notifications or turn on game turbo mode or optimize the network. They have a driving mode. The smart key, like I was telling you, I have it set up to doing certain things in there, but you can, it's as easy as just turning it on, pressing double press, choosing what you want, and it'll do that. It's so simple. It's awesome. Advanced features, they got a smart manager, which will, you can come in here and turn off apps that will, let me turn that off. You can come in here and turn off apps that will automatically start up. So maybe you don't want Facebook to auto start or file share or any of these apps. You can turn those off so they don't automatically start up. You can check up your battery and turn on normal saving mode or super saving mode. You can check out your battery detail. 
clear up your memory notifications. Control your storage. And that's pretty much it in terms of like that kind of customization. They do have this stuff as well. We can go into home screen settings if you want and you can change the home screen style. You can also, which home screen style, you can make it look like iPhone, so all your apps on your home screens, or you can do like traditional Android where you have home screens and an app drawer. You can fill in empty cells, put recent apps, all that kind of stuff. There's tons of customization in this. They also have the Google tab over here. So you can check, you know, Google news. This thing's awesome. It's so cool. The other thing I noticed too, is it's much snappier than the 10L and, and it should be, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's supposed to be because of the fact that it's a, it's two hundred dollars more, and it definitely feels snappier than the other phone. Just jumping around, moving around, you can see it runs fairly well at that point. Very comfortable. Like I said, you can run two apps at once. I'll uh, have a Google Play Store here, and then I'll hold and press and hold this button. This is just an easy way to do it. And then I'll open up uh, Chrome. So I have a website up and then I also have, you know, Google Play Store. So you can do that real easily. It is translated. Here's a little speaker test. It is mono to English. It says it is rumored that Samsung, because I know a lot of people who watch my show are Android and Samsung fans and the Samsung phones. You might not get it for probably about four to six months after release. And then obviously we have the cameras, so let's check out some photos and some videos that I took with the front and the back cameras. Here's a little video sample of the front camera recording at 1080p, 30 frames per second on the TCL 10 Pro. Do you think it looks good? Think it sounds good? Let me know. One thing to keep in mind, guys, it does not wirelessly charge. But other than that, first impressions, this phone feels fantastic. It's very premium feeling in your hand. Um, it's easy to hold. It has a curved display, so keep that in mind. If you're not a fan or you are a fan, it does have a curved display. It has a headphone jack, so it adds that capability. It has a big battery. It's uh, overall can pretty much do, you know, the basics really, really well. Um, you know, if your social media takes decent photos and all that. So I'm, I'm impressed with it so far. I think it's an interesting, interesting device. The price is very, very good. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. See you down the road.